international students are marching in protest against the B.C. government's changes in the provincial nominee program. The B.C. government announced on Tuesday that starting next January, changes to the B.C. PNP will demand an increase in English proficiency. And upon graduation, master's students will need to secure a full-time job in a skilled occupation on a minimum one-year contract before they can apply for permanent residency. Protesters say this will make it harder for graduates to start their lives in B.C. What we're asking for is not stop the new policy change. We're just asking for the equity and justice for the current students who are attending the program right now because BC government used to use the old policy as attraction. For some of my classmates, they even bring their children here, they, their couples here. That's why they want to leave here. But now everything changes over one night. Students unite. Students fight. Protesters say the changes are dramatic and it will hurt the students currently living in the province. They say future students may apply elsewhere due to the new policy. International students is a, a crucial part of the Canadian economy. Many of those gathered in the rain at the Vancouver Art Gallery Saturday held signs reading, We are not a diploma mill and no students, no future. A speaker at the protest says that the B.C. government is betraying the international student community and the changing policies are too unstable to be trusted. I'm not saying that we will not get a job offer. Or I'm not saying that we will not pass the English test. But uh, we are saying that we will, the, the policy is changed for the students already here. So we fight for the grandfather rights. According to the BC government website, it explains why these changes are being made. And it says that this clarity will make it harder for bad actors to take advantage of people by misrepresenting the BC PNP as an easy path pathway to permanent residency. The day after the policy change was announced, a petition to the Ministry of Municipal Affairs of BC was made by Saturday's protest organizers, which has racked up more than 2,000 signatures in its first four days. In Vancouver, Angela Bauer, City News.